Hi, I'm from Gilbert, Arizona, and I am an eighth grade math teacher. We're gonna go over every one of those problems. I'm 33 years old, I don't look like it. <laughs> and I think it's my students that keep me young. Any other questions? I think part of me signing up for this competition was that would be so cool if my students can see me riding up in a motorcycle. That would be like, wow, Mrs. DeVal. That's my house. And there's my husband. There's all the Legos in my office. My life is with my three kids and with my job. It's just pretty chaotic. I have one kid who is dressed. And I have another one that I've been yelling at for at least a uh, half an hour. And then another one still getting dressed as well. As a mom and as a teacher, we tend to get so involved in everybody else's life and helping everybody else. It's so hard to get me time or do stuff just for me. I am exhausted. Having the motorcycle, that's going to be a different, that's a change. That'll be my, my way out. It's like, all right, mommy's going for a ride. You take a shower. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. I definitely do not see myself as a biker type. Prior to winning this competition, I would never have seen myself on a Harley, other than if I was riding on the back of it. We are so excited. I think he's a little bit more excited than I am because he's more into the motorbikes and stuff like that. I feel when we first started, I was more excited than, than she was about the whole trip and everything. I'm like, oh, we're going to get to see the museum. We're going to see all this neat stuff. My worries about riding a motorcycle is that I would not be able to control it and then somehow I'm going to end up revving my bike and just falling off of it. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you to Hell's Harley Davidson and the Rider's Edge Academy of Motorcycling. I will be your rider coach for the next four days to make sure that you have a, a fun and safe uh, adventure while you're here. Ron was a great instructor. Here's this guy who is a police guy. He's tall and he's buff, and you're just looking at him going, I really hope I don't feel it because I don't want him yelling at me. <laughs> is anybody nervous? <laughs> there is going to be some apprehension. There's going to be a little nervousness. That's normal. This will just give you an idea of what it's like to sit on a Harley Davidson. Get a little feel for the throttle now and actually rest. <laughs> That's always a fun part of this thing. How's it feel? Good? Really good. All right, good. The first time I revved up the motorcycle, my heart just like started racing along with the bike, and it's just coursing through you, that power. It's such a powerful feeling. I can't even begin to describe it. All right, welcome to the range portion. Are you excited? This morning outside it was raining, gloomy, and then it started coming down a little bit harder. And I'm just like, this is not an ideal condition for the first day of learning to ride. We were all standing there, and there goes the bike. We hadn't even started riding, and I'd already dropped the bike. Pretty sure I have a couple more dropping of bikes before a professional, or at least a better rider. Rashani, eyes up. Walk it, then pick your feet up. Relax your hands. Take your hands and shake them up. Okay? Good job. Good job. I think I'm gonna try. I'm too scared. Midway through that morning, I had a breakdown. What got me was the fact that I was holding onto the bike, but I could barely move it. And um, I, it scared me. It was like, I'm, never, I'm not going to be able to learn how to ride this. I was ready at that point to just quit. Rashani, relax. The more you relax, the easier it is. If I quit, I know that I will always look back with it with regret. And so even though in my head I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this, I knew I had to do it. And then she made this kind of leap, and that turned into, yes, I can, I can do this, and it's working. 
Once I got over that, that was the most uplifting feeling. It empowered me, made me feel like I could take on anything at that point. You're the head. That's it. That's it, Rashani. When that bike was moving and I could feel the wind just going through me, it was like the wind kind of taking away everything I was worried about. It was just me on the bike riding. It was one of those aha kind of moments that I want my students to have. It's like, aha, I can do this. All right, end of the day, this is our skill evaluation. I am feeling excited and I am feeling nervous. I'd like to get this over with so that I can celebrate. Okay, you want the good news or the bad news? The class bad news is the class is over, and now you have to practice on your own. Okay? The good news is we had all passed in score. I came in here thinking about this as being my husband's dream. I'm living my husband's dream, and I am going out saying this has been my dream. I got to do things I would never have ever imagined that I would do. It's been amazing, exhilarating, awe-inspiring. I've loved every minute of it. So tomorrow morning, I will be riding my Harley to school for the very first time. I'm just hoping that I don't drop my bike. That would be my first thing. Please don't drop my bike in front of my students. The second thing is, please don't run into a student. <laughs> Roshani said, what do you think about me riding a motorcycle? I was shocked. I always thought she was joking. I gotta see it to believe it, because I don't see that happening. <laughs> Throughout Milwaukee, Rashani learned to take control, not just of that motorcycle, but of her own life and things that she wants to do and realizes that she's gonna be the one that is driving her next phase of her life. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> My new life is now gonna be a little bit about Rashani as well. Let's go explore and let's learn something. And so I'm not stagnant. I'm always moving and my bike takes me there.